just like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. There's a slide through. Oh, he's got a man through a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 20 tutorial on the channel guys. Today we've got the top 3 new skill moves in the game. We've got quite a few being added this year, I've selected the best 3 that you need to learn. Before getting started guys, make sure to smash the like button, let's try and get over 1500 likes. In the moment that that happens, I'm gonna upload the tutorial with the secret controls. You guys loved it previous year. And in the moment, we're gonna have 1500 likes at this video. I'm gonna upload it with the new secret controls from FIFA 20. Getting back to our tutorial bros, we've got the setup touch. A new skill move in FIFA 20, a very, very versatile skill move. And before talking more about it, let's see exactly how to perform it. Afterwards, we're gonna see where and how to use it. It's rather easy guys, you are seeing on the screen the controller, all you have to do is press and hold R1 on your PlayStation controller or RB on your Xbox One controller and move the right analog to the other side, to the latter side, to the left, to the right, you can do it also in the back, it's an easy to do skill, very very simple guys. Let's see now where and how you can use this skill move at its maximum capacity. First of all, it's called the setup touch. Of course, you're gonna be able, it's gonna be perfect to set up the ball for a shot. It will move slightly the ball to the left of your player or to the right of your player, giving you time to load properly the shot, giving you time to think about your next move. Another thing that I noticed when using the setup touch uh, is that it's perfect also to full defenders that are rushing towards you. So if you see a player, if you see the opponent uh, has this type of style, rushing towards your players and always trying to tackle and get the ball fast, then the setup touch is incredibly effective. Move to the left or to the right prior to him attacking you and you will be able to fool him get past the defender, get yourself into a dangerous position. Remember this guys, it's very important, being a one-star skill move, it means that any player on the pitch can do it. This makes the setup touch a very versatile skill. You can do it with any player on the pitch anywhere. That's a very, very important thing. In conclusion guys, the setup touch is one of the best new additions in FIFA 20. You can use it anywhere in front of the opponent's penalty box to set up a shot or to fool a defender on the wing to set up a deadly cross. It is a deadly new skill move. Moving now to the lateral heel to heel skill. It has three stars and it looks like a four star skill move. If you're not new to FIFA, if you've played previous FIFA versions, these type of movements of the player are typical, are similar to 4 star skill moves. But with the lateral heel to heel, you will be able to do it with players that have 3 stars. Let's see now how to perform the lateral heel to heel. It's quite easy, fellas. You will have to press and hold. L1 on your PlayStation controller or LB on your Xbox One controller and afterwards flick the right analog to the right of the player and then to the left of the player or flick the right analog to the left of the player and then to the right of the player depending where you want to go with this skill move. As always you've got the controller guys on the screen you can see over there my live movement when I play you can see exactly how I perform each skill move. Now I'm gonna tell you something very very important. The finesse shots are the most overpowered way to score goals in FIFA 20. I'm gonna have tutorials about it. Why is this relevant to this tutorial? Well, the lateral heel to heel, this skill move represents the perfect setup for the finesse shots. Uh, you have, for example, a left-footed player on the right side of the pitch 
and you want to set it up on his dominant foot so you can do a finesse shot. There's nothing better than the lateral heel to heel. This is a perfect skill move for this type of shot. As I was saying, you can use it to cut inside from the wing and then do a dangerous shot. Uh, you can use it in front of the penalty box to change the direction of your player and again to set up a shot. It is a very fast and a very agile skill move that can surprise the defender, can get you that extra edge, can get you that win. And when you are playing against the best players, even if it's online or offline against your friends, you need to have that extra edge in order to win. You need to know that extra skill move, you need to have that extra experience in different positions on the pitch. You need to know which skill move to use and when to use it. Number three, last but not least guys, we've got maybe the most overpowered new addition in FIFA 20, the drag to drag. It is a four star skill move and I've been impressed with it. I think it will be a game changer. It will be maybe the number one new skill move in the game. I'm still practicing, I'm still testing, but things at this moment look like the drag to drag will be the number one new skill in FIFA 20. Let's see how you can perform it and it is quite easy and in the same time a bit tricky. Uh, some of you make a common mistake, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. So in order to perform the drag to drag you will have to press and hold the left trigger. While you do that, do a fake pass. And remember guys, this is the common mistake that I was talking uh, to you about. Do not move at all the left analog. Take your thumb off the left analog. That's when this skill move will work. It is super fast. I like to call it the flash skill move because if you time it correctly, your player will get close control of the ball extremely, extremely fast and fool the defender. Again, this is a very versatile skill move that can be used anywhere on the pitch. On the wing, to get past the defender and cut inside with a pass or cross in front of the penalty box. And what's most important, guys, I think, at the skill move, the best place where you can use it, I think it is inside the penalty box, where you have a lot of opponents and where it is the deadliest move ever because it is extremely fast. Uh, you will be situated in a place where you don't have a lot of room to move, but by using the drag to drag, this skill move will get rid of the defender, will help you get in the perfect position to face the goal and do a shot and eventually score a goal. You know the combinations, you know the tricks, you know where to use them. One thing is left now for you. You need to practice these skills, guys. Uh, nothing comes easy in life. You won't uh, be able to uh, do them perfectly only by watching a tutorial and then jumping into a game. Yeah, I'm gonna know everything. Nah, you gotta practice. You gotta put in those extra minutes, extra hours into your favorite skills. And as I told you, these new moves, these new features from FIFA 20, they're exactly what you need in order to get better, to improve at the game, to win online games, to win versus your friends, to get better in foot champions, to get those extra awesome new rewards that I cannot wait from the first weekend league. There you have it guys, the top three, the best new skill moves in FIFA 20. Don't forget to smash the like button, let's try and get over 1500 likes if you wanna see that video with the secret controls. We've got some amazing features that I wanna share with you. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later.